In about two seconds, Kareem Ali will begin to speak. So I'm going to name my honorable mentions real fast, and I can't really say an order. I'm going to name... I'm going I'm to name Wankster. I didn't really like that song in real time, but I just feel like that just led to Ja Rule's career being over. I feel like this nigga, and How to Rob is a better record for sure. But I felt like 50 took this nigga's style, used it. He ridiculed him for his own style, used it, and did it better. It was just, that's fucked up. <laughs> um, I'm going to go, even though we had a conversation about the Drake Kendrick battle, and it wasn't necessarily up to our standards, but I felt like Meet the Grams was just a psychological exploitation in the Drake's mind. I, I, I thought that record was uh, was was pretty good. And, and plus, uh, the record Family Matters that came before it was probably Drake's best record in that series of disses, and Kendrick put a stop to it immediately with Meet the Grams. And that's, what people, that's what people say. Um, what was my other honorable mention? Maybe I'll come back that I was going my... Uh, my top five. So at number five, I had hit him up, which was just so disrespectful that even in real time, I was like, oh, you fucked his wife. It just it hurt me for a second. And I always wanted Biggie to respond. And number four, I had to bitch in you because he just was rapping for hip hop. But to take on Ice Cube in 91, Ice Cube was like one of the most feared black men in America back then. The perception of him was totally different than Daddy Daycare or whatever the fuck he was planning. Are we there yet? You know, all those. It was just different, bro. Ice Cube would do interviews. He had Nation of Islam, FOI members standing behind him. White people feared Ice Cube. Of Ice Cube, and I'll get more into this later when we get to No Vaseline, which is definitely on this list. Um, man, if he'd have died at that point, people would have viewed him the way people viewed Tupac. Later on, that's how big of an impact Ice Cube had. Um, so, so for Common to go at him and then diss him in LA, I can't remember the venue, but it's not some place you really want to be talking about, as Rob put it, their golden child. And number three, I have the bridge is over, the bridge is over. Uh, that shit was just for everything Rod said. Uh, that's uh, and, uh, what Icon said about the bridge is over as well. And KRS One, I can't help but sound like this nigga when I when I talk. The teacher is speaking. I can't. I I tried to not, but you know, <laughs> my whole career has been getting KRS in this bitch. <laughs> yeah. So we got KRS Kane on the show and shit. Curse is over. <laughs> so, and number and number and number two, I'm gonna have to go with a two way tie between um, Second Round Knockout and Ether. And the reason what? I put Second Round Knockout is actually my favorite. I love Second Yo, Round Knockout. You have, like, the same fucking list. <laughs> second Round, because we think of That's why we can have other niggas on the show. We just agree all the time. And it wouldn't really be, you know, it wouldn't be a debate show. So Second Round Knockout is probably my favorite person because it's the impact it had on me when that came out at high school, the audacity to go at LL, who was basically just being a bully. I, I love that record. Um, cannabis was the man in that time period. And Ether, I remember where I was when Ether came out. It, just, it was just a, it, it was one of the illest discs lyrically, even though Take Over, people say it was a better song. It's, it, it's a battle. So the diss matters. And he, I felt like he took Jay-Z apart and people try to revise history now to try to say it wasn't what it was. But in real time, the, the world knew that Nas won. And number one is definitely no Vaseline. Only because, mainly because, I mean, some people may look at the, the rhyme style, but you have to give credit for what it was at the time. He, he, he took away the whole, the whole group. NWA was never heard from again. And my other honorable mention was Dre Day, because they played that record for two summers. You know, so mm -hmm. Dr. Dre and Snoop, I love that. That was another honorable mention that was down there probably, you know, um, probably be my number six if I had a list or whatever. I, I just enjoyed the record. Um, but skills matter. What is your list, sir? What do you agree or disagree with so far? So um, I disagree with How to Rob. And the main reason I disagree with How to Rob, I think that it's a dope record. But I think that D-Dot took the sting out of that record when he was like, this ain't serious. Being broke can make you delirious. If you're going to say it, you should stand on it. The same way I feel like Jermaine Cole did himself a disservice. I feel like he did MC's period a disservice. And I understand why he pulled out the battle. But if you're going to say it, you should stand on it. You feel me? If you want to bow out, bow out. But to apologize for defending yourself looks crazy, yo. You know what I mean? Like, but I think that How to Rob is very dope, though. 50 is definitely on my list. Also, um, so my honorable mention, I have no Vaseline in my honorable mention. I do think that 
it's a vicious diss. I think that he definitely got NWA out of here, but I just don't think that it stands up to today's standards as far as, like, battling. Like, I understand what it was at the time, you know what I mean? And I don't want to diminish what it was because from, from how people speak about it, and clearly I wasn't there, but from how people speak about it, they speak about it like it was the first Eve. You feel yeah, me? I will. So... Um, also, I agree with what you said about Meet the Grams. To me, I feel like that's the, the closest thing this modern era has to Ether. I think that the way that he addressed his entire family and the way that he just broke down the, like, who we think Drake is and who Drake really is, I just think that he did an impeccable job of destroying that man's character or highlighting his character because we really don't know who he is. We know that he is a professional actor. We know that he... And he uses that in rap and to market different things that he does. But we don't really know who he is. But Kendrick really put a mirror up to him. And I don't think we've seen that done, executed that well in a very long time. Let's go to your top five, bro. All right, I got you. <laughs> All right, number five, your life's on the line by 50 Cent. Mm -hmm. I believe that he just lyrically, I think he went off. I think that the hook was fired. I, there's a lot of quotables in there. Just... I think that that's one of the best, the most focused that 50 was. Like, he had Piggy Bank. He had um, what Tia told me. Like, you know, 50 got mad different disc records. But to me, I feel like that's one of his best ones. And for me, that's number five. For number four, you got Takeover by Jay-Z. That's another joint where somebody's going off lyrically, but it was also some, you could play it in the club, you feel me, at the time. Also, he went at Nas. He went at Mob Deep. Um, it's just crazy. Number three for me, the bridge is over. Um, not really much more that we can really say about that joint. It just okay. it's very classic. Once you hear it, you know what it is. He he not only went at Shane, he went at Molly Molly, also went at Roxanne Shante. He basically went at the old squad. Like he didn't go at Kane because him and Kane was close or whatever, but like he definitely lit a fire under them. And like you said, they were on QT until Nas came up. Okay. Also, all right, number two, you got against all odds. And to me, like, Pac, he not only went at Biggie, he went at uh, De La Soul, he went at Nas, he went at um, Haitian Jack, Jimmy Henchman. Like, it was just, he went at Dr. Dre. Mm. Like, that joint was crazy. And then num number one, Ether. Like, you know that that song has lasting impact when the name of it becomes a phrase. Like, what Rock can say, I take a word that's, that's rarely heard. And the phrase is rarely heard, then flip it, now it's a daily word. Of course, they're a victim of that shit, bro. Wow. Uh, man. <laughs> but yeah, that's Nas definitely caught a body on that joint. I think that just the beat was crazy. The quotables, the fact that he um what is it that pocket at the beginning? Yeah. Like that's crazy. You know what I mean? And like like that yeah. set up a lot of different like this is like now you see even you know Drake using the AI voices, you feel me? But yeah, bro, like 